information on STLE. So let us start. The valence bond theory. The formation of a styline molecule C2H2. Each carbon atom in the ground state has two unpaired electrons, which are 2bx1 and 2by1. As a screen show now, the carbon atoms in the ground state has electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2bx1, 2by1. And the carbon atom is excited and electron transfers from the 2s orbital to 2bz orbital. So we get the excited state carbon atom has electronic configuration 1s2, 2s1, 2bx1, 2by1, 2bz1 for each carbon atom. Then to form the bonds in acetylene, the 2s and 2bx orbitals in the carbon atoms are hybridized to obtain two equivalent orbitals. Each one is called SCB orbital as the following animation show. Here the carbon atom has 2s atomic orbital contain one electron and 2bx atomic orbital contain also one electron. They are going to be mixed together to form two hybrid orbitals equal in energy. Each one will called SB atomic orbital as the screen show now. The hybridized carbon atoms has electronic configuration 1s2 and SB hybridized orbital contain one electron and another SB hybridized orbital contain one electron and the remaining orbitals 2by1 and 2bz1. So we can summarize the steps for hybridization as following. The carbon atom in the ground state has electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2bx1, 2by1. When exciting the electron from the 2s to 2bz orbital, so each one have electronic configuration 1s2, 2s1, 2bx1, 2by1, 2bz1. Then hybridization takes place forming the two hybrid orbital SB as the screen show. The formation of a styline molecule. We have two hydrogen atoms. Each one has one electron in one S orbital. And carbon atom has four electrons in two SB orbitals and the remaining two in the 2by orbital and the 2bz orbital. Then in going to form the acetylene molecule, so overlap takes place between the hydrogen atoms and the SB atomic orbital of each carbon atom. Then overlap takes place between one SB orbital of carbon atom with another SB atomic orbital of carbon atom. Then the overlap takes place between the 2by1 and 2by1 with another carbon atom and then the 2bz orbital of carbon atom with another 2bz of other carbon atom. So how does the valence bond theory explain the bonds in acetylene? The CH bond is formed due to overlap of one SCB atomic orbital from carbon atom with one SCB orbital from hydrogen atom. And the first carbon-carbon bond is formed due to overlap of one SCB atomic orbital from carbon atom with one SCB atomic orbital from the other carbon atom. And the second carbon-carbon bond is formed due to overlap of the two by orbitals of the two carbon atom as the screen show. And the third carbon-carbon bond is formed due to overlap of the two bz orbitals of the two carbon atoms as the screen show. 
So the screen now shows the formation of the acetylene molecule. We have triple bond between the carbon atom. The first one is due to overlap of SCB atomic orbital of carbon with another SCB atomic orbital of carbon. And the second one is formed as overlap of 2By of carbon and another 2By of the other carbon. And the third bond between the carbon atoms is due to overlap of 2BZ orbital of the carbon with another 2BZ orbital of the other carbon atom. Where the CH bond is formed is due to overlap of the atomic orbital SCB of carbon atom with 1S of hydrogen atom. So we can say the carbon hydrogen bond is due to overlap S and the SCB orbitals. While the bonds in carbon atom, one of them BY, BY overlap, and another is BZ, BZ overlap, and the third one is the SCB, SCB overlap of the two carbon atoms. The shape of acetylene molecule. The acetylene molecule has a linear shape as the screen show, and the angle here between the bonds 180 degree. So we can say, give reason for the angle between the bonds in acetylene are 180 degree. The reason is to decrease the repulsive force between its orbitals. The molecular orbital theory, or we can say MOT, the theory states that it considered the molecule as one unit or a big atom with multinuclei, in which all the atomic orbitals of the combined atoms are mixed together forming molecular orbitals called sigma and pi. The main difference between the valence bond theory and molecular orbital theory. In the valence bond theory, the overlapped orbitals takes place between the atomic orbitals containing single electron. That means the electrons that form the chemical bond. While in the molecular orbital theory, the overlap takes place between all the atomic orbitals of the two combined atoms forming molecular orbital called sigma and pi and others. The sigma bond It is formed as a result of the overlap of atomic orbitals along the axis. The overlap of the atomic orbital is head to head. The overlapped orbitals are on one line, or we can say collinear overlap. In the bi bond, it is formed as a result of the overlap of the two atomic orbitals along the parallel axis. And the overlap of the atomic orbitals is side by side. And the overlap is between the two parallel orbitals, or we can say collateral overlap. Give reason for. The sigma bond is stronger and shorter than by bond. Because in sigma bond, the two binding electrons are on the same axis between the two nuclei. But in the bi bond, the two binding electrons are above and below the axis. How does the molecular orbital theory explain the acetylene molecule? The CH bond is formed due to overlap head by head forming sigma bond. And one CC bond is formed due to overlap of head by head forming sigma bond. And the other CC bond is formed due to overlap of side by side forming bi bond. As the screen show now, the acetylene is formed as overlapping by bond between the two carbon atoms 
and sigma bond one of them between carbon and carbon and the other between the carbon and the hydrogen atoms which are four sigma bonds between carbon and the hydrogen the formation of a styline molecule the CH bond is formed due to overlap by head by head forming the sigma bond the first carbon carbon bond is formed due to overlap of head by head forming a sigma bond the second and the third carbon carbon bond are formed due to overlap of side by side forming by bond as a screen show now we have two by bonds between the carbon atoms 